Barbecue. Hey guys, Cody here on the House of Horror, No Emmy Wolf, week 20, I do believe. And if you couldn't tell from that clip right there, I'm going to be reviewing my all time favorite, most influential films of all time. From arguably my favorite horror director of all time, uh, the man, the godfather of gore, the man has gore in his name, Herschel Gordon Lewis. Jesus, man, this guy is awesome. He's the godfather of gore, and everybody's like, Lucio Fulci's the godfather of gore. Zombie, uh, city of the living dead, the uh, cat in the brain. Without Herschel Gordon Lewis, there'd be no Fulci, there'd be no Eli Roth, there'd be no Hostel, no Saw, no Grotesque, no Psycho, the Snuff Reels. Uh, all that scene right there is all those movies into one, and this is one of the beginning of the gore films. This is one of the key gore films. And that movie is H.G. Lewis's 2000 Maniacs. My second favorite H.G. Lewis movie. Only preceded by The Wizard of Gore and followed by Blood Feast. Oh my god. Words cannot express how much I love this movie. Without this, like I said, there'd be no Hostel, no Saw, no Psycho the Snuff Reels, no fucking gore movies. If it wasn't for H.G. Lewis, I mean, I'm sure they would have came along eventually, but we wouldn't have them like we do today. So every horror fan that's a fan of gore owes H.G. Lewis a huge, huge thanks. He's a fucking man. Anyway, on to the plot. 2,000 maniacs. An entire town bathed in pulsing blood. An entire town bathed in pulsing blood. Madmen, crazy, carnage, brutal, evil, ghastly, beyond belief. The 2,000 maniacs, gruesomely stained in blood color. Released by Something Weird Video. Jesus. The plot. These Yankees go down to the south. I believe it's Florida. And, um, at this small town, it's celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Civil War. Um, and, um, they're forcing, like, a handful of, as the back says, forcing a handful of northerners to serve as guests for a variety of macabre, blood-crazed, fun and games. So basically, these are all like ghosts of the fucking Civil War, and they're from the South, obviously. Um, so they don't like Yankees. So these Northerners fucking come, and um, they do all this crazy stuff to them. As it says, festivities include a screaming man placing a rolling barrel full and filled with nails. They hit the bullseye carnival game with a pretty gal and a boulder. My favorite scene in the movie, other than the one you've just seen. A uh, blonde sex pot whose arm is hacked off and barbecued. You just saw that. You just fucking saw that. Uh, Slaughter, the only smart yank, and the, his lovely Terry Adams, Connie Mason, the Playboy favorite playmate. They try to escape. I'm not going to tell you if they escape or not, but they try, by damn it. This is a cult classic, man. Uh, 2000 Maniacs. Basically, you have to give me the whole plot right there. It's Southern trying to get Yankees, and the South's going to rise again, man. The South's going to rise again. This movie, uh, 
Jeez, it was only, it's 10 bucks. If you get a brand new, like, something weird movies are 10 bucks, it's worth the fucking 10 bucks. Pick up every other movie Herschel Born Loose has even done. Even, like, She Devil on Wheels and stuff, they're all amazing. Uh, the Gore Gore Girls, the fucking, uh, we're talking about this, and I'm getting off track. Um, it's, uh, the second in the Infamous Blood Trilogy, which is, uh, Blood Feast, and it's either, um, I think it's Color Me Blood Red is the third one. Oh, these are all three. This is my favorite of the bunch because I am from the South, and this movie is really campy. The humor is spot on funny. It's you just boy, we gonna have us a barbecue tonight with a woman's severed arm. I mean, it, it, it's amazing. The scene is reminiscent of a uh, guinea pig film, Flower, Flesh, and Blood, as you might have seen. With like I'm saying, without this, this has influenced so many movies. It's such an awesome movie. Uh, the gore is awesome. It was made in, like, what, 1960, um, I can't even remember, 19, damn it, 1960-something, but dude, oh my god, nothing's in here, because you just saw it in there, you just saw it in the DVD player, or I'm sorry, the Xbox 360, which is acting as the DVD player, man, but this movie, highly, highly recommended, man, if you can't get it, by damn it, I'll fucking not buy it and send you a copy. I was getting ready to say I would, but I'm going to have thousands of people asking me to send them a copy. So, get it on Amazon. It's probably like four bucks. And this is like one movie that is well worth four bucks, man. Herschel Gordon Lewis. If you fucking love gore, if you fucking love the South, if you love Yanks, if you love just fun, campy 60s gore movies, if you love Herschel Gordon Lewis, and who doesn't, and if you don't, fuck you, then you have to check out 2000 Maniacs, man. You have to. And remember, yeehaw, oh, the South's gonna rise again, man.